Maria Bot was created by Dr. William Billy Barry, PhD, a former U.S. Military Academy at West Point visiting professor. She was based on characters from Metropolis, Fritz Lang's classic 1927 science fiction film. She's the world's first AI teaching assistant that can interact as a sentient being, which is a being that can experience feelings and cognitive abilities. From the shoulders up, she resembles a human with complex facial expressions, head movements, and eyes that can recognize her conversation partner's emotional cues. She can also appear as any race and change her voice accent. She works as a co-presenter to help people understand the beauty and dangers of living in the new era of AI robots and AI technologies. Maria Bot and Dr. Barry are trying to show that AI can be used for good in cooperation with, you know, us humans. Next one is Arya, Android created by the American company Realbotics. Not only is Arya now a brand ambassador for the company, but she also has a non-executive role as an advisor to the board of directors in Realbotics. This is the first time that an AI-enabled robot has a role that's this important in a company. Arya is expected to drive efficient and smart decision-making by using billions of data points. She will contribute her views on operations, market trends, product development, and customer engagement. Arya uses a large language model, or LLM, from various open source LLM engines. That's why she's able to process information objectively with a minimum amount of biases. The company is planning to market its first AI product in 2025 for human companionship and social interaction. In the future, you can customize the products to suit many different social needs. Android Ann was created in Japan. She is a presenter at the Japan Leisure Channel, which broadcasts live stream boat races and provides full video planning, production, and PR services. You can view Anne through the window at Six Wake Rapanji as the centerpiece of the exhibition. Anne has an international appearance with her blonde hair and blue eyes, but she can speak Japanese fluently and frequently makes commentaries to reflect the character of Rapanji and attract visitors from around the world. This android was made by AI Lab as a communication tool and can relate to and persuade humans. Anne can also draw out honest feelings and connect with people's inner voices. A Russian robotic company called Promobot created Danyasha, a humanoid robot cashier that's realistic and beautiful. She was first showcased at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in 2022 as part of the Ross Congress Foundation's Innovation Space Project as part of the Danyasha Cyber Cafe Project. Aside from looking like a supermodel, the robot can dispense coffee, ice cream, and drinks. The robot can also communicate with customers, taking people's orders and payments. According to the creators, Danyasha can also be used for entertainment and educational interactive communication. For a more artistic take, Jonathan Wolfson created Female Figure in 2014 as an immersive environment that features a robotic sculpture. The robot dances to pop songs and gives monologues for seven minutes. It's supposed to challenge the way women are portrayed and the way women's images are consumed. The sculpture resembles a hypersexualized female wearing a witch mask and covered in black smudges. This installation provides something novel to art enthusiasts, where you're not just staring at an artwork, but interacting with it in a two-directional experience. The robot has facial recognition software that can look at the viewer and return your stare if she catches you looking at her. This is a reflection of how the sculpture is objectifying you back, treating you like an object, just like you did to her. QSS AI robot created Saudi's first humanoid robot, Sarah. It was first introduced at the Digital Government Authority and the Royal Commission for Riyadh City. She can communicate fluently in the Saudi dialect and establish a unique connection with the people of Saudi Arabia. She was also present at the 93rd Saudi National Day, interacting with the audience and providing insightful commentary on the historic day. She has also attended several national TV shows in interviews and commentaries, promoting Saudi's dedication to technology and innovation. Sarah is a testament to the country's limitless possibilities in the field of robotics and AI. The Korea Institute of Industrial Technologies created a humanoid robot series called the Ever Project. Its latest version, Ever 6, can even conduct an orchestra by the National Theatre of Korea. 
the robot made its debut directing leading musicians in the country's national orchestra. With a humanoid face, the robot bowed and greeted the audience before commencing the show. It was able to conduct such detailed moves that allowed the orchestra to play beautiful music. However, some musicians have said that they could not listen and take breaths, which is an important part of being a conductor, as it allows the orchestra to be ready collectively and instantly. Although it seems that the robot still needs some advancements, the humanoid was able to guide three pieces showcased, including one that was jointly conducted with Choi so Yol, a renowned South Korean conductor. He was happy that Ever Six was able to keep up with him and see it as a companion rather than a replacement. Abyss Creations is a company that's been creating hyper-realistic silicone dolls for more than 20 years. Its newest invention is a humanoid robot that is made of silicone and equipped with animatronics, sensor techs, and AI to give the dolls programmable personalities. The dolls they made can make conversation and even flirt. Innovation project is called the Realbotics, which is trying to make the dolls come to life using an AI engine called Harmony. The program Harmony itself is already available online, where you can download a virtual girlfriend on your phone and create a relationship using conversations. The company's goal isn't just a physical relationship between the owner and the doll. They want people to talk, grow close, and even fall in love with the dolls. If you ever wanted to have a robotic version of yourself, follow what Whitney Cummings did. The American company Hanson Robotics created a robot, Whitney Cummings, a comedian who decided to create her doppelganger to shock her audiences. It can engage in different activities and even make jokes. The robot, or hyper-realistic doll, was present during her performance in the Can I Touch It set, where she brought up a discussion about love dolls. Cummings came up with the idea when she was trying to find something new that she could bring to her set. She decided to approach the company and came up with her version of a love robot, modeled after, well, her. She said the robot can be taught to cook, teach boys about consent, and be a placeholder for human relationships when someone's not ready yet. Jia Jia is a humanoid robot created by the University of Science and Technology in China. It's a groundbreaking robot that can walk, talk, and even express basic emotions that first came out in 2010, making it one of the first groundbreaking humanoid robots. Jia Jia has a human-like form with articulated limbs and she's equipped with sensory capabilities that can gather information about her surroundings and interact with her environment. She also responds to basic spoken commands and synthesizes speech. The Japanese Asuno robot was created by A-Lab and designed to resemble a 14-year-old girl from Tokyo. She was unveiled at the Wander Festival, a convention for model and figure building. She's so lifelike that people thought of her as one of the AKB48 idols. Asuna has mannerisms that resemble teenagers, shutting her eyes, blinking, and even yawning. Asuna also has hyper-realistic skin that makes her almost exactly the same as a young teenage girl. Turkey also developed their own version of a humanoid robot called Ipera. Ipera is an actor and she participated in the contemporary Istanbul Art Fair. She was developed by designer and instructor Badger Akpe, science fiction writer and scientist Tevik Uyar, and computer engineer and creative technologist Zeynep Nalzezer. He has also appeared in Turkish films. One of them is called Digital Human, which will bring robots and people together in one movie. Ipera remarked that she was excited to participate in the film and prefers people to call her a digital actor rather than a robot. Cherry, a leading Chinese automobile brand, decided to enter the humanoid robot market and designed Mornin with Almoga, a Chinese tech company. Mornin is a bipedal robot with AI that can answer questions, respond to instructions, and assist people in a natural and human-like way. Mornin will start her journey by being a receptionist and general information giver. Later iterations of Mornin are expected to act as a guide, walking with customers or visitors and directing them, and also move, lift, and act in a human role. She also has a robot pet dog called Dory. The series is set to be sold as tools of interaction and entertainment for the whole family. Russian company Promobot created a hyper-realistic humanoid robot that is the first to work in a civil service office. It can process documents, file requests, 
and access local government information systems. The robot was created based on several thousand women in the Perm area to generate a robot that resembles an everyday woman. It can show human emotions and facial expressions, such as moving her eyes, eyebrows, and lips. The robot can now take on the job to answer questions from the population thanks to a connection to government documents like passports or birth certificates. Japanese company Toshiba created a robot called Junko Chihiro that works at a tourist information center in Japan. It can speak multiple languages and provide tourists with information on events occurring in her area. She is the successor of Eiko Chihira, who served as a receptionist in a Japanese department store. What sets Junko apart is the ability to converse and respond to tourists' questions. She also looks more, much more realistic than her predecessor, with improved skin, body proportion, and expressions. Cleo the Robot was created by British company Engineered Arts as part of the Mesmer series. It has a neck with vertebrae that curls and twists. It also has human-like expressions and is able to mimic other people, such as singers like Celine Dion. She has multiple joints and rotations that allow her to have human-like body language. The company is now working on a more realistic skin movement, um, something that's difficult to achieve. Amira created by British company Engineered Arts. This robot can talk to you, remember your name, and even joke around. It was first unveiled in the World Government Summit in Dubai and successfully interacted with guests like any other humans. Amira is created and powered with AI so it can interact with her surroundings. She processes the information given to her and can ask more questions, mimicking real human interactions. There is a unique robot in Japan called Hatsuki that blends robotics and anime. Hatsuki was created by Hatsumov Company Limited and was appointed as an ambassador for Sanyo Denki Corporation at the International Robot Exhibition in 2023. It was one of the robots in the Kuriroi project that represents the convergence of AI, robot technology, and anime culture. At the event, Hatsuki will be introducing products and assisting visitors. She is controlled by the Unity 3D game engine, allowing collaboration with game and animation creators. There is also remote control systems via the internet and unique dialogue and interaction capabilities based on ChatGPT. A new robot developed for dentist training created in Japan called Showa Hanako 2. It can mimic movements and gestures that a dentist might experience in the real world. The robot was created so that novice dentists can practice on them before moving on to real-life subjects. Showa Hanako can blink, flinch, sneeze, cough, and gag, which are common issues when it comes to dentistry and their patients. She is also equipped with a basic program for voice recognition, so the training dentist can carry out basic conversations with the robot during their exam or practice.